What is up everybody and welcome to the updated version of the fusion gun. So this is the 2.0 update, adding some new things and new location and basically just a lot of different changes that I'm going to be going over in this video. On top of that, I am using the B35C heavy brotherhood of steel armor because I know people are going to comment that. So in this update is also a new way to get the gun. Basically, you want to travel over to the sentinel site in the glowing sea. If you don't know where that is, basically down here, I don't know. If you don't know where it is, you could look it up online and stuff. Pretty easy location to find. Also very dangerous, so be careful when coming over here. Once you're inside, you can basically just do exactly what I do. I do have AI turned off for the purposes of this video. But basically, run down here and then go in this room. Then you can jump down and around. There's going to be a little hollow tape right there. You're going to pick it up so you could open the doors. But, you know, after you go through this once, if you've never been in here, that would only be there. Because once you do it once, you'll have the holotape on you at all times. And then you just continue running. You're going to just go down all these stairs and continue until you get to the last room. Then basically, you're going to have to go to this terminal, open this door, and then continue on your little journey. Well, I mean, you could just really jump down here. This is where you want to go. But uh, if you don't open that door, there won't be a way out. So then run through these tunnels. And then once you get over here, there'll be a bunch of enemies. Again, I did kill most of them. And then you're going to want to go straight. And over here, we're going to start getting some radiation. Once you start getting that radiation, which should happen right around here, as you can see, uh, you're going to want to basically follow the radiation. There'll be another door here. There's no uh, lock on it. It's just a door you have to open. Again, I have all these enemies turned off. And then basically, there's this room with a ton of radiation. So either pack radax or just be prepared it's very very scary and difficult to get through this room especially if you don't uh, pack the appropriate amount of rad resistance as you can see it starts to go down but i'm going to park uh, uh or i'm going to start popping some rad away so i don't die and then basically just run through here again pretty simple this will be another door to open but uh just follow where i'm going and then once at the end you will find a closed iron sight fusion pistol as you could see and uh, you do have some fusion cartridges there so i highly recommend you take them there's a bunch of mini nukes and loot in that other room so uh check check them out if you want but uh, otherwise there you go fusion pistol is yours so once you actually get the gun now you can head over to the weapon crafting station and basically we could check out some of the new additions and changes to the gun first and foremost it is going to have some minor textured variants so uh, it's going to be a little bit different than the previous versions like some of the gripping and some of the newer ammo type versions are going to be totally different but uh, I'm not going to make that the focus of this video because, again, there are changes, but they're so minor that I just it's not like a complete overhaul. The gun looks really good to begin with, so uh, it doesn't look any so or superior in any real way now. At least I don't think. So, what do we have in here? As you can see, we have a d bunch of different receivers. Basically, what this is going to do is actually change the way this works so uh, i actually have to craft this so uh, as you can see but uh, the way this is going to change now or work is you have to craft these receivers in order to get to the later receivers so i can't just get this and then beeline it to the most powerful or overpowered additions you're going to have to work your way up there so as you can see i can't craft this one right now and basically that's because i require a fusion gun overcharged automatic receiver so the overcharged automatic receiver is right there this one's actually going to require i don't know maybe it's just oh i have to have the automatic receiver on maybe i don't know some of them are a little bit glitchy but basically the way it works is it's going to be boop boop and then you just continue down this little path so uh, as you can see i could switch back to uh, some of the older receivers and such and such or start back at this one and then uh, as you can see now after you get the standard receiver you're going to have two different options so this is some of the things changed in the update other than like the whole continuity system there's actually a totally new system here so now as you can see after you get the standard receiver or the automatic receiver which is just going to be a different little tree although i highly recommend you use the standard receiver it's much better you do have two different things so you have the copper plated or the leaded 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 <laughs> different receiver so that's the automatic one we don't want that well we want these two so as you can see this is going to use two different types of ammo and this is going to be a lead infused receiver or you could have the copper adds copper plating to the automatic receiver greatly improving blah 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 and or this lead one so these are actually going to be totally two different uh, ways of doing this so then obviously now it's basically a little tree you could add these or go down the little things and you have the overcharge one so if we go to the automatic and then get the leaded automatic or leaded automatic receiver you get the uh 
lead standard receiver and all that and it's a little bit confusing but once you play around with it for a little while you'll get the gist so then we do have a few different barrels as you can see now you have the closed barrel which is just the normal one or if you go to the exposed barrel then you do have the copper plated or the leaded closed barrel so i'm going to go with the copper plated now and then the copper plated again and it adds copper plating to the barrel greatly improving fire and energy damage speed and ammo capacity so if we go to the leaded closed barrel infused closed barrel at significant ballistic damage and range so as you can see they have different bonuses and uh kind of just stuff that way so uh obviously this one we can go back here and now we have add significant ballistic damage and range personally the closed barrel does do a lot more damage so i like that one then we do have different stocks and then of course the elited stock and the hopper stock so uh you could kind of play around with the gun this way and uh, you'll get the feel for it after a while and then you have all the different iron sights and this is what i was talking about this is one of the brand new textures the regular textures are also changed but as you can see we do have these brand new textures as well so if we actually go down here we could go to the glow sights and we have the leaded iron sights we could use those instead and then we have all these different long scopes and stuff like that and then finally the muzzle so we have the copper plated muzzles here so i'll go with the closed muzzle or the exposed muzzle and then we can use the leaded closed muzzle or the leaded exposed muzzle so a little bit confusing like it's hard to explain uh, at first glance but basically as you can see, we do have the gun now. Well, now after you got this kitted out leaded gun, I'm actually at the wrong crafting station right there. That's the armor workstation. If you go over to the chemistry station, you're going to scroll down. As you see, now we have two different ammo types. So we have the lead tipped ammo here, and this is going to use the regular fusion cartridge, which is just the normal ammo for this gun. But now we'll have, again, different ones, and you have to craft fusion cartridges, and then you need lead or copper in order to actually craft these other ones. And then I ran out of fusion cartridges there. And then now if you take out the gun, you can actually reload and start using it. So I actually really like this because frankly, I think this one especially looks totally badass. And I just think the little changes with the ammo types and all that is very cool. I do like that as a change. And again, I, I really like the look of this variant of the gun. I just think it looks so good. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's the majority of the changes. This is basically allowing the gun to be much higher end. I don't know if you saw, but when I was going through it, these do a lot more damage than the default one. And this, that's what this meant to be. It's supposed to be a late game option for the Institute. So if we go back in here, as you can see, we do have, if we look at some of the other ones, the regular barrels here, like the standard receiver and all that, don't do as much damage. The automatic one there, we are doing more damage there in the copper plated automatic receiver. And we also have the overcharge ones, which I have to, how do I, I have to figure out my way back down there and uh, to actually get to the overcharged ones. But that is an option as well. But, oh, I don't have the right level of nuclear physicist, but then you could get the overcharged ones. So basically, let me craft a few of these, and then we'll go check them out in action and see uh, just how they perform a little bit differently. So now I actually have three different variants. I have the normal variant, a leaded variant, and then a copper variant. So uh, let's check out the normal variant first. And as you can see, or... This is the normal variant, I'm sorry. And then this is the uh, leaded variant, and this is the copper variant, which I do have a suppressor on this one, which is kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so first and foremost, let's check out the normal variant. And uh, as you can see, nothing too crazy. It does leave that burning effect in the grass, but doesn't do nearly as much damage as the other two variants. Shut up. <laughs> and then this is the copper plated variant. So as you can see, it does have a totally different sound. It also has a suppressor. And then it actually does have different ammo capacity. And then last but not least, the uh, this is the leaded variant, which is fully automatic. Which is absolutely insane. And I, I do really like all three of these. The gun itself just looks so badass. Obviously, this one has a ridiculous fire rate, but uh, yeah, let's go try them out in action now. I mean, that's, that's pretty much all there is left to do. So we do have some Brotherhood of Steel over here. Uh, I guess I'll just kill them. <laughs> I mean, there's what else is there to do, really? They'll realize eventually, right? Oh, I have my AI turned off still, probably. Yep, there you go. <laughs> so now they did realize we do have another Brotherhood of Steel over that way. And I am, of course, repping the Brotherhood of Steel armor, but we are with the Institute now. So let's go try and take these guys down. And uh, we'll, we'll try and get some cool bat shots because that's what is fun to see. 
And as you can see, with this one, this is the uh, leaded variant. Again, it uh, although it does look really cool, it is really hard to aim. This is much better used as like an SMG style gun, unless you fire in burst. But uh, it doesn't do quite as much damage. This one now, or this one, the copper variant does do ridiculous amounts of damage. So if I could actually get close enough.